Hi there, I'm going to show you in this video tutorial how to unbrick an LG K51, alias known as LG LM K500 mm. I'm going to use a furious box. As you can see, this phone is completely dead. Uh, only the LED is blinking. I cannot uh, power it on. So it's a total brick. So um, in order to restore it, I'm going to use a Furious Gold box and the OT Smart module. Uh, before starting the operation, be sure that you install the LG drivers and the Libu USB driver filter. Also, you need to download the special firmware for the LG K51 from the support, which is going to help powering uh, on this device. So, uh, let's get started. First, let's select from here our model. And from here, I'm going to choose the right firmware and uh, choose the special firmware we got from the support area in OSP format. Now, I'm going to press connect. And uh, when the software starts searching for the mobile, I'm going to simply insert the USB cable. If, if everything is okay, the phone gets detected and the operation starts. Okay, done in only 14 seconds. Now uh, let's attempt to power it on. As you can see, now uh, the phone starts. It's not a dead brick anymore, but there is still one uh, step to do before uh, totally restoring it. As you can see, it's on a boot loop and after uh, several uh, failed uh, power ons, it's going to display an error message. So, while the phone is boot looping, I'm going to keep pressed the volume up button and insert the USB cable. And we are going to keep it like this until uh, the phone is going to enter in the download mode. As you can see, we have here the firmware update mode. It's stable. Now we're going to, in order to restore it uh, to the factory firmware, I'm going to use uh, LG App, LG App software. You have a tutorial available on the support area, which shows you the installation process. Also, um, be sure that you have. Um, in, on the device manager at the port section, the LG mobile USB port, as we have here. So let's start the LG app. As you can see, the phone got detected. Here we need to select the um, LG factory firmware in CAD as a format, which you can also download from the support area. And uh, now I'm simply going to press start and let the software do its job. Once the flashing starts, you are going to notice some activity on the phone display. The firmware is getting written by uh, the software. So now you only need some uh, patience.
So the flashing process almost ended. Now let's wait and see if the phone is okay. So as you can see, the phone uh, fully powered on, it's on the configuration menu. So it got successfully repaired from a dead brick to a full working device. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. Thanks for using our products. Bye bye.